Hi, uh, welcome to my first video tutorial. I'm Carvin T. I'm going to be showing you how to rig a model in Blender for XNA Lara. Um, the first thing you want to do is open Blender and you also want to install Python. Um, if you haven't done that, then there's a link to the tutorial which explains that in the description of this video. Um, also, you want to download my uh, announcer model from my Mediafire. There's a link in the description for that too. That's the model that we're going to be rigging. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, Import, Wavefront, OBJ, um, and then browse to where you've got the model installed. It can be, you know, you don't have to install it in any particular place. And then so just import the .obj, use these settings and then just hit import when it's done there's the model it's a bit blocky so you can just you can select all the parts and then you just press set smooth like that there's three parts there's the main body there's the hands and there's the face she hasn't got any eyes or any mouth at the moment so just so that we can rig the model and then we can use original eyes from another model so now that we've got this model and it's all fully in the T-pose and everything, you want to hide everything by pressing A to select everything and then press H to hide it. Then go to File, Import, Mesh, AS, ASCII, ASCII, X, um, Sephira Story Scripts, and then browse to where you've got uh, Lara Casual Model installed. You can use pretty much any model, but I recommend using this one because it doesn't have any gloves and it's quite a simple mesh so just import the dot a ASCII uh, model so when it imports there's the model um, you want to hide the skeleton or you can move right click on the skeleton and then press M and then click that button and then click OK that moves it to the second layer this is the layers panel here you can click here to move to the next layer see it's a different layer that's where the skeleton is uh, so you want to stay in this layer for the moment you also want to move you want to delete the eyelashes uh, by just selecting them and then press delete and then click erase the same for the eyebrows uh, the eye shading and select it. The eyeballs, obviously. Um, high shading, delete that. Delete the um, eye ducts as well, the little tear ducts in the corner, and the ribbon, and hair two. But don't delete hair one, we need that. So just select the shown part. You can press B and then draw a box around the shown area so you want the head, the neck, the eye parts and the hair uh, see that's all we've got selected and then press M and move it back to layer 2 so you've just got this, you can delete all of the guns all of the metal, all of the belts and that kind of stuff all of the Thor gear, you can delete all of that because that will just interfere in how the model is rigged so you just want to delete all of that you also need to delete boots 2 which is this little tiny clip there uh, also her zip in the middle and that part of the zip too you can delete that and the backpack the two light parts and the back ring you can delete all of that so that's our base model that we're going to be using to rig you can move the hands to the next layer as well So now you just need to, to select these three these three parts, the boots, the trousers, and the sweater, and press Control J, and that joins the meshes. So now you've got one mesh here, just one whole mesh, which is full of bone weights so that you can copy them. So then press Alt H to unhide the announcer. As you can see, it's bigger. So you can either scale up your Lara model or scale down the announcer model. I suggest you scale down the announcer model so that it's better sized. So you want to select the three parts of it, 
at the same time and then without entering edit mode just press S on your keypad and you can then scale it like that just using the mouse so scale it to the same sort of height as Lara you now need to edit the Lara model so that it fits better the structure of the announcer so you can edit, enter edit mode on this okay so you need to bring out these wrists if you press O on your keypad not the number the letter it turns on proportional fall off mode so that when you select this area here just the end it moves like a large portion of the body if you scroll the mouse wheel forwards it adjusts like the, the settings so you can just move like a small amount of vertices so just move it along so that it fits the shape of the announcer's arm do the same on the other side it doesn't have to be fully perfect but it just needs to be done so that the model can be better rigged also do this around her waist just select her waist area and then move the whole waist down a bit like to about there for the heels if you if you want to you can move the heels up so that they fit in shape with the uh, announcer's heels I don't think it's particularly necessary but it you know it might help so now, now that you've done that the model's ready to bone weight copy but only the announcer main clothes you don't want to bone weight copy the head or the hands just the main body so select the main body and then hold shift and right click on the Lara body as well and click objects scripts bone weight copy and then just hit OK